Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm on my favorite coastline in the UK, the North Norfolk coastline, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm currently just on the top of Brancaster Point in Clay next to sea because I'm about to go and stay in a windmill. And also an interesting fact, I'm actually going to be staying in James Blunt's former bedroom. Yes, his family used to own the windmill. I've got to get to it though. It's around about a two minute drive down there. And the windmill should be coming up in front of us, overlooking the marshes. Look at that. Well, I've arrived and there it is. I'm actually going to be staying mid-level. I'm not staying right at the top. I did try to get that room. Unfortunately, that was booked out. But I'm staying on the mid-level because it's also got a balcony that goes all the way around the windmill. So I've just checked in. I'm staying in the stone room. There's also loads of different accommodation you can actually stay in. You don't actually have to stay here in the windmill. We'll go and check out some of those rooms just briefly beforehand. How cute is this though? There's a little harbour just out in front of the windmill itself. Now tonight's going to be a pretty wet and windy night. So it's going to be interesting to see how well I sleep. But let's head in. These are all the other rooms that you can stay in. The old cart shed just in front of us. Something called the boat house. I believe they're fully booked tonight. Would you want to stay in the hovel? So let's head up. It's very cosy in here. There's a little mini bar there. And I guess this is where breakfast is served in the morning. Nice little wooden fireplace. So I'm up these stairs. There's another room you can stay in the wheat chamber. I believe there's nobody in here tonight. It's a quick nose, don't put my head in. Ooh. This looks very nice can stay in the barley bin. No unaccompanied children past this floor. Let's head up. These stairs are creaky. Wow, amazing views. Balcony this way, the stone room. The wheel room is above me, which means that going through this door, they also walk up towards the stone room. I believe that someone's up there at the minute. They're staying up there. Here's the room I'm going to be staying in, the stone room. People are welcome to come and check out the balcony this way. I've got exclusive access in my room. Oh, that's a bit spooky. Let's head in. So it's going to be very atmospheric in here tonight because the forecast is for about 60 miles an hour winds and some heavy rain. This is my room and it smells really nice. Let's go and check it out. They've put the radio on for me, which is kind of nice. BBC Radio 3. I'll switch that off in a second. I do like that radio though. And it's actually quite a nice touch that you come into the room with the radio on. I have a fireplace. Now, whether or not this works or I'm allowed to use it, obviously not, I don't think so. But the room obviously is heated by radiators and it's very toasty tonight because it is quite cold out there. I better switch this off, hang on. I'm gonna get a copyright. Sorry, Radio 3. So the first thing you notice, obviously this is um, a windmill. So the design of it is pretty unique. Love these old wooden beams looking up to the ceiling. Interesting place for the TV, but they've had to put it somewhere, I guess. And that's where they've put it. I have got a sea view out the east facing window. Probably can't see it though, because it's quite cloudy today. Hopefully you'll see it a bit better in the morning. Nice touch. There's a mirror either side that makes that look bigger and lighter. That smells really nice. I do like these. Joe Malone, I normally buy mine from Next. Such a beautiful room though. Look at that. Almost like a, a bit of a Middle Eastern vibe with the lights. Obviously that's the stairs going up to the, the wheelhouse. It's amazing what you can fit in this room, isn't it? really is. So brilliant fireplace <laughs> with some oh, kind of scary faces. Very odd. So I have got a balcony door. I've got a key to unlock that in just a little bit. A huge mirror. The bathroom is there just over by the bed. Got a wardrobe. 
everything I need. A little iron, a fan, and the smallest ironing board ever. And I love this chest of drawers, look at that. And there is the hair dryer. This is a diffuser. Obviously lots of drawer space. Wow, look at the kettle, a nice Breville kettle. Norfolk obviously suffers from a lot of hard water. I know that from home. I'd rather be at clay windmill, <laughs> like that. I've got some wine glasses because actually, yeah, I'm not going crazy. Is this complimentary? I do say that a lot. Adnams, red wine. So there's a menu there. I think that's the bar downstairs. Mini bar honesty. So you get these hotels that have sensors, but here they're asking you to be honest. This is a cool little fridge. What's in here? White wine, which is by the looks of things, 20 pounds. Adnams, obviously just up the road. Got a couple of beers, Peroni. I've got a bottle of Prosecco and I've also got some fresh milk. Now this is something I've never had before in a hotel suite. Fresh milk for the tea and coffee. I like that, very nice. Bearing in mind I stayed in a supposedly seven star hotel and they had UHT milk. Here in Norfolk, fresh milk, nice. Also got a Coke in there if I want it. But yeah, I've got Earl Grey, breakfast tea, a couple of biscuits. Loads of milk and sugars. Even the coffee, look, have little windmill pictures on them. Isn't that nice? Love how they've folded up the towels and also some soap. Not any old soap, this is clay windmill soap. Honey, lemon and oatmeal, luxurious handmade soap. It smells nice as well. So breakfast is included. I've got a fish order form here if I would like any local smoked kipper, haddock or anything else. I just have to basically fill this out and give it to them by seven o'clock. Sadly, there's nowhere to have dinner here, but there is obviously some restaurants in the village itself. Some information, map of the windmill, so you can see where I'm staying, all the other little bits of accommodation. You can do some amazing walks around the North Norfolk coast here. So it's a perfect base to do all of that. Nice little vanity mirror there. I'll do the bed test in a minute, but first let's check out bathroom yes it's an ensuite as well oh just so you know if you do stay up in that room up there you have to go up a further set of stairs to go into the bathroom but this is literally all on one level on this particular room got a nice shower obviously quite dinky nice big mirror well, two mirrors actually. And I've got White Company, shower gel, shampoo and body lotion. Love these style sinks though, very cottagey. Where's my towels? Oh, they're on the bed, aren't they? So that's the bathroom. Let's do the bed test. Very firm. I love these bedside lights. I've got some water, little bedside tables, nice soft pillows. Is there a, yes, there's a firmer pillow, which is nice. Happy about that. Interesting wicker headboard. You can hear people going up and down from that upstairs, so you've got to be prepared to hear them coming in, going up them stairs. Very creaky. I'm trying to remember which key he said was the outside. I think it might be this one. Wow, look at this. There's, there's my room. Here I am on the windmill, crazy. I don't think they turn anymore. Obviously, I doubt very much that they do. It's amazing what you can get inside here. So this is roped off, so visitors can come up to this point, step over and just have a walk around because anyone else who's staying in the accommodation around the windmill can come up these stairs. But look at that. I'm looking forward to tomorrow if it is going to be sunny because we should have some beautiful views over the, uh, the sunrise over the sea. The only thing they're missing out here really is some chairs. There's also a lock where they let some of the water in this uh, little mini harbour. So you can see how the water literally surrounds the windmill. I tell you what, you feel very VIP with your own private balcony in a windmill. You have to love these beams and the history, hundreds of years old. And I think those holes 
what used to be woodworm. I'm sure it's obviously treated now. Just look how rustic they are. Luckily, I'm not that tall, otherwise I would have a few problems. And the TV also shows YouTube. You can see what people have been searching for recently. Pipe down Drake. Wet Dreams J. Cole. Bondi Beach. Sky Sports. I think they need to search for something else. And if you're staying here and you want to check out the latest Walk With Me Tim video, there you go. You can still check out my YouTube channel on the TV as well. Now, maybe it's because we're close to the sea, but it feels like I'm in a lighthouse, not in a windmill. But still, it's crazy to think that I'm in a windmill on the North Norfolk coast. It's not too windy outside, which is quite good. It's very quiet in here. And I still can't believe that I'm in James Blunt's old bedroom. That's really random, isn't it? I'll see you in the morning for breakfast. Night night. Wow, what a beautiful morning. I told you it'd be sunny. Morning. This view though is incredible. And what better way to start the day with a nice cup of tea on the windmill, overlooking clay marshes and over towards the North Sea. What a way to start the day though. As I said last night, it's weird. I don't feel like I'm staying in a windmill because I'm so close to the sea. It does almost feel like I'm actually staying in a lighthouse. So I will show you around the grounds a little bit more now. Um, it's sunny, but first let's go get some breakfast. Here's breakfast then. Orange juice, some pastries. Look at that fruit salad. Cereals, now that's gold. So not too many people here for breakfast this morning. So it should be pretty quiet. Must be first one up, it's nine o'clock. But you know, when you're on holiday or when you're staying in somewhere like this, you do want to have a lion. I'm obviously just up early, just because I'm now so used to getting up early, having a little boy. My body clock's tuned to like seven o'clock already. Let's just have a quick walk around the outside area. Love this little mini harbour here. Loads of little mini boats as well. So you can walk on the coastal path, which I'll show you in just a second, um, up to Blakeney Point. Obviously Blakeney Point starts here and Blakeney Harbour is literally just around the corner. So, you know, you could, uh, you can walk this way towards Blakeney Harbour. I'm just gonna show you a bit more of the grounds. It's a beautiful day. So these are the gardens. Still early in the season, so there's not too many people sitting out here, but if I head along this little path, I can actually walk in the reeds. Wow, look where this goes. Wow, how cute is this? You're on a reed island. <laughs> right now. Wow, well, some nice houses around here. I think a lot of them are rentable too. But this is what is beautiful, is that you can stay a couple of nights in the windmill and explore the gorgeous North Norfolk coastal path, which I always bang on about. So I paid £245 to stay here the night. It wasn't too windy last night. The only problem with the room was the people upstairs. They were making a lot of noise for a lot of the night. And really early this morning, about five o'clock for some reason, they were banging the doors, going downstairs, not quite sure why. So that did disrupt my sleep a little bit. 
Just quickly, I want to mention about the shower. It wasn't overly powerful and it did take quite a long time for that water to get hot. I can't complain because I am in a windmill. The bed was comfy. I think it was memory foam because when you laid in one area for a long time, it felt very odd when you tried to move. The great thing about this hotel is the fact that you can explore the North Norfolk Coastal Path. You can walk for miles. You can explore this amazing area of outstanding natural beauty. Let me know in the comments what do you think of it? Would you stay here? Or maybe you have stayed here. And let me know if there's any other different hotels you think I should go to. Drop it in the comments below. Please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.